Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Together with the Church Universal, we enter into this holy season of Lent. Sinners asking for repentance and moving into a desert to unite ourselves with Christ so that we might live his passion, death, and resurrection. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning, Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation. Assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I acknowledge my own and my sin. 
the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin, who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together, then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain, for he says, In an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is the very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win the praise of of others. Amen. I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners so that others may see them. Amen. I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast... Do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearances so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to be fasting except to your Father who is hidden and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and believe in the Gospel. Powerful words which each of us will hear as the ashes are imposed on our foreheads at this beginning of Lent. The very first words of Jesus' public ministry. Fascinating, isn't it? We quote Jesus all the time, but the very first words of his public ministry. Repent and believe in the gospel. Now, for those of you who are all over Social media, I know you've seen like I have these silly, nonsensical things 
because Valentine's Day falls on Ash Wednesday, and people saying, well, the priest should impose ashes in a heart shape on their foreheads. How ridiculous. And it's made all the more ridiculous because the cross we receive is the most excellent, the most extraordinary sign of love. A sign of the total sacrificial love of Jesus on the cross. Now, I don't need to tell you who are so faithful to come to Ash Wednesday early morning mass that Ash Wednesday is serious. Lent is serious. Sin is serious. The devil is serious. What we do this morning appears to the world as lunacy because the world doesn't believe in sin anymore. We do. And each one of us is humble enough to approach for ashes this morning because we know ourselves to be sinners. We know we are far from perfect. And we know that within us, we need the healing that only Jesus can give. So this Lent, I invite you to make your prayer, fasting and almsgiving, acts of love. Matching the act of self-sacrificial love of Jesus on the cross, as we this morning receive the fruit of that self-sacrificial love, his very body and blood. Now, even though this is very serious, there's nothing to be afraid of except the devil. What are we afraid of if Jesus is reaching out with the most tender, extraordinary mercy, the one who died for our sins? He desires us to return to him, to be truly sorry. And by our prayer, our fasting, and our almsgiving, to repent of our sin, to turn back to him, and please God, rejoice at a glorious Easter. Dear brothers and sisters, let us now humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with abundance of his grace these ashes which will be placed on our heads in penitence. O God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers, and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants and on these ashes with which they will be marked, that as they follow the Lenten observances, they may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice before the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through works of penance and charity we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help to imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice we acclaim your praise. rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The history of faith Save us, Savior of the world, Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial 
of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saints Cyril and Methodius, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, the order of bishops and all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us we'll offer each other a sign of peace. On your stay, we told his takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O God, on those who bow before your majesty, and by your mercy may they merit the rewards you promise to those who do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And the Spirit is God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him upon we pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.